Race for District 1 County Supervisor Nora Vargas is looking to be like the winner as she maintains a significant and steady lead over Ben Hueso. She joins us now with reaction to the results. Good morning, Nora. Good morning. How are you, Lauren? I, I am uh, working on a, a lack of sleep, much like you are, I'm <laughs> sure. Um, yes. So so your reaction, I mean, you've had a night to sort of go to bed, soak this all up. This is looking very strong for you. What are your thoughts this morning? Well, um, you know, I am just uh, very excited. I think the early results are looking really, really good. Um, I have to say that, you know, hard work pays off. This is a culmination of two years of really a lot of work in the community and I'm really proud of the campaign that we ran um, you know and so I'm excited about it I'm really excited about it I, I think that the voters in district one were ready for change and they were tired of you know um, you know old politics and so they wanted to make sure that they had somebody new and I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity yeah, and this was a, a difficult uh, task because you were going against somebody who had quite name, quite the name recognition, Benueso, a former state senator. And so this this was a difficult task. Uh, you more locally focused within the community. Yes, I think, you know, um, I shared with the voters my vision of a healthier and stronger communities and really a message that resonated with them, especially right now. Uh, pre and post COVID. And I think that um, we, you know, we have our work cut out for us, but I'm ready to, you know, to hit the ground running. I think that um, the voters, uh, you know, I, I talked to thousands of voters and even though campaigning during COVID was completely different, uh, we still reached out and, and on the, you know, called them and, and, uh, you know, gave them my cell phone number. They were reaching out and having conversations about what they wanted to see uh, from their next supervisor. And what they want is somebody who's going to be, you know, representing them and is going to be responsive and uh, is going to go uh, across party lines to really have good conversations about how we move the county forward. Well, it's great that you mentioned that because now this is going to be a situation where we see with the County Board of Supervisors it being split in in Democrats favor. Uh, but this is an entirely new board. I mean, you go back a few years and it was longstanding, uh, dominantly Republican, able to get a lot done. Uh, the coffers looked good. And now I think people fear the gridlock and, and the bickering back and forth. And, and you say one of your priorities will be to make sure that this is a board that gets things done for the people of San Diego. Absolutely. I think the, the people of San Diego and, and, and the county and those in District 1 uh, expect representatives to work together and move an agenda forward uh, that's really focused uh, on our communities. And, you know, my goal is to really put our families first. And that's the agenda that I ran on. And that's what I'm going to do. And I have no doubt that my uh, counterparts uh, will understand how important that is, because for too long, uh, you know, there's there, there's a lot to have to change uh, for South Bay and, and District One. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that opportunity. Yeah, you know, just heartbreaking. It's to hear some of the latest numbers coming out of the South Bay about the number of businesses that could permanently close because of the pandemic and the restrictions that this county is under, which the, the numbers there are not looking good either as far as reopening yeah. further into other color categories. What do you plan to do uh, moving forward in helping those businesses hopefully reopen yeah so i mean my, i think one of the things that i ran on is that you know i really wanted to make sure that we're mitigating the impacts of the pandemic and that we're focusing on economic recovery and and for me you know that starts with with making sure that uh that our small businesses have the resources that they need to be able to continue because they are the heart of, of our community and the heart of district one uh, I am happy to share that this morning I received a call from Supervisor Cox, who um, has been fantastic, and we're going to be meeting next week to begin to have uh, conversations about how we transition, uh, you know, and so I'm looking forward to to working with him and, and making sure that we have what, it, what we need uh, to move forward for, for all uh, our residents in District 1. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Nora, you look beautiful and well-rested despite m me knowing the truth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well you know, I have to say that I'm just is so uh, excited. I mean, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, as they say, but I really just want to say thank you to the voters for entrusting me uh, and the trust that they have placed in me and, and to my, my team and the community at large. This is really a grassroots uh, power a powered by community campaign and and we're gonna really do great things uh, for the community in San Diego. 
All right, well, we know we'll be staying in touch and, and following along as you go. Nora, thank you so much uh, for getting up earlier than you probably wanted to to talk with us this morning. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, looking at other county supervisor races, this one is very close. The county supervisor district two race is neck and neck, I guess, as expected. Poway Mayor Steve Voss and Joel Anderson are battling for that seat. District two, the largest district on the county board of supervisors, still a very close race. So we will continue to follow that one. And in the county supervisor district three race, candidate Tara Lawson Reamer is enjoying a commanding lead right now over the incumbent Kristen Gaspar flipping the district three seat from Republican to Democrat. So we will continue to follow these races as more of those ballots, a number of them.